Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Nathan Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to. It's actually a dialogue that um, Sheikh Ahmed did have with a young um, Christian and then he asked him making reference to saying of um, Jesus Christ that he gave us that's referring to Mark chapter um, 16 that he gave us you know, as an irresponsibility as a Christians to go and disciple to others and to those who hear you understand and believe are safe and then those who refuse to hear his word you understand will be condemned referring to the judgment day and then he says that the Quran says that if they preach the word of God to the people and then they refuse to answer that they should kill the person okay that's what um, the young man asked um, Sheikh Ahmed did that, that Islam believed that when they preach the word to you and then you did not accept then they kill you okay well that's a very interesting one but then I think that when we get down to the video we are going to hear what um, Sheikh Ahmed did that is going to say concerning this very um, question I believe that me to I'm just even I chose to hear this you know <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out but then I know that it will be a very interesting one and then it will be a clarification to a lot of us who are learning Islam for the first time our people you know some who are hearing this of course they are going to hear so I can't just wait for the response of Ashek Ahmed um, D that so if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out so guys before we get on to the video I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's thought or opinion or belief but this is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so guys without any further i do let's get on to the video and then hear shake ahmed did that um respond to this very um question my question in the short in the old testament we was taught that eye by eye teeth by teeth revenge etc etc we grew up jesus came he taught us all of these things if you might know and i'm quite sure you know but let me inter you know, interrupt this sentence and I mean, ask you one question before. You said that you believe in God. This God has character. He knows the future. He knows the past. He knows the presence. He doesn't change his mind. Do you agree? I go on. Jesus came, and I'm quite sure that what I'm saying here, you find in any of these books, and you might find it in Quran too. Jesus came and taught us, if one slap you on the right cheek, give him the left one. Sympathy, mercy, no violence, love, chalik. He taught us, if one asks you to go a mile with him, go too. If he asks you your coat, give him your dress. When he asked his uh, disciples, Larry Younger, to go and preach in the world, he told them, go and preach my word in peace no violence if they accept your word take it if they don't take it go and go on why after five no sorry six hundred years the god whom you believe and i do how oh, he changed his mind again he tells me the one who hits you hit him again go and preach in my name and if they don't accept my name and my word kill them if your wife missed if your wife does it, I'm for you, kill her, kill, punish, kill, punish, hate, hate, hate. Thank you, he sir. He raised me up. Question. Why you take me very much down again? Sir, your question is clear. Thank you. Silence, please. Thank you. Well, yes, some more hot tea. The brother said, Islam says, the teaching of Jesus was turning the other cheek. If a man takes away your foot, give him your cloak also. Agree with thine adversary quickly, Jesus said. Before they take you before the magistrate and make you to pass with your last farthing. But now you said God doesn't change his mind. But he had given you a law, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You are a Christian today. From your question, I make out you are a Christian. Right. But now God changed his mind. Didn't he change his mind? 
First was eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now he's telling him, you resist not evil. When a man hits you on the right cheek, give him the other. He changes his mind. He changes his mind according to your Bible. Wait a minute. And then again, he told you, God told you, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But Jesus said, but I say unto you, whosoever puts away his wife, save for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever marries her that is divorced, committed adultery. He changes his mind again. And he's changing his mind continuously. But you said God doesn't change his mind. Now, you will have to account, or the pastor will have to account for that, not me. When you say, make allegation against the Quran, the Quran says that if anybody does not accept Islam, chop off his head, kill him. Here is the Quran, and you have up to tell to find that verse in Shikwas. I'll read it for the people. Wow. This is a very interesting um, video between the young Christian and then also um, Sheikh Abed did it. I wish that the video is longer than this, so that at least we can be able to like see what um, happened. You see, this is one of the reasons why before you made an accusation or shall I say make an allegation about a particular um, religion, I, I feel that it is better for you to go and study the religion, understand the religion, know why they believe in what they believe before you can be able to make references to that very um, religion whenever maybe you are asking question or whenever you are trying to clarify um, something you see this very young man i will not say that in a sense for some of the things in a sense he is saying whether it is true or not but it's just something that is very common people just feel that islam is a religion of terror a religion of oppression and all those things right and then because people keep saying it over and over and over and over so when you keep hearing the same thing people saying things in a standard are not true but because people say it and then nobody objected or nobody tried to maybe correct or maybe try to say oh look some of these things in a sense is not true this is what it means and then therefore you keep hearing it at some point it will look like whatever you're hearing is true the young man probably have not maybe read the quran before to understand whether um, whatever he was saying is true or not to whether islam encourage people to kill people whenever they refuse to accept the religion and then this is a situation whereby ahmed did that is now giving him the quran to prove to him where it is written that when they preach the word to anyone and then the person you know suddenly refuses then the person should be killed i <laughs> i do not know but then i think that maybe probably they could not or they may not find you know some such maybe statement you understand know, in the quran i do not think that there is anything you know, written like that but then i will say that you know people are not able to separate some things that people are doing on behalf of the religion and what god is actually saying based on the religion i may not be a muslim you understand know, today but then i have seen the need that it would be good for me to learn the religion okay when i'm able to like learn the quran and understand the saying of god in the quran it will help me to be able to at least make a reference whether you understand i want to say some certain things whenever i know that oh maybe what i'm about to say is not true then you see i will not even have to say them why because they are not um true and that's one of the reasons why you see i am studying the religion is not that because of i was not taught in a sense about islam but it was not in depth okay so that is why at the moment i am just learning the religion learning it so that at least i can be able to like understand what god is saying to so whatever you understand the future holds i do not know but then like we rightly say god even knows me even before i was born god knows that i'll be even be talking to you and he knows my tomorrow he knows everything all right so i don't know what the future in a sense holds but then we'll leave everything in a stand to the future then <laughs> i don't know 
if some of you have the full video you can be able to like tell me at the comment section was the young man able to prove his point i do not know i know that he was trying to make a references to what jesus says you understand in the book of mark chapter um 15 verse 16 that was saying that we should go into the world and preach the good news and to those you understand who believe are baptized are safe and those who do not believe you understand are condemned saying that in the quran whenever you understand they went on to propagate the word and that if you do not you understand accept that therefore they kill you do whether it is true i do not know because i think that it is not um true anyway <laughs> what a challenge anyway so a very interesting one and i know that a lot of you have thought an opinion concerning this i wanted to drop it at the comment section and may god bless you as you do so so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye